Do you wish your website had a do not disturb sign? No matter if you're rolling out the next big update, tweaking the design or simply fixing stuff, flipping on maintenance mode keeps your visitors from being out of the loop. I'll show you how to hang that custom maintenance mode sign on your WordPress site. If you plan to implement significant updates or changes to your WordPress site, enabling maintenance mode prevents users from seeing those incomplete pages or features. You don't want your customers to assume that your website is broken, right? Instead of seeing error messages or unfinished content, visitors will be redirected to the maintenance page, informing them that improvements are underway. This rather simple gesture will create a positive user experience and avoid any unwanted questions. On our site's back end, maintenance mode provides a safe environment for implementing major changes. This way, you can prevent site breaking errors to ensure a smooth user experience once the site goes back live. There are multiple ways to switch your WordPress website to maintenance mode. In this video, I'll be covering four different methods in greater detail, starting from the easiest one to something a bit more advanced. Now, the first two examples are highly recommended for beginners or anyone without the slightest coding knowledge. Meanwhile, if you want to learn more about how WordPress works, you can opt for the other two. But before all that, hit that subscribe button if you wish to see more WordPress tutorials like this one. Also, turn on the notifications so you won't miss new web building tips from us. That being said, I'll start with probably the simplest way to activate maintenance mode, something you can perform directly from our H panel. Since we are so committed to taking care of every single of our customers, hosting us web hosting, cloud hosting, and managed WordPress hosting users can activate WordPress maintenance mode directly from each panel. If you're only planning to power your WordPress site with Hostinger, don't forget to use the WP10 coupon code for an additional 10% discount while purchasing. I'll provide a link in the description below that guides you on joining our global network of million satisfied partners. But enough of that. This first method I'm going to show you is utterly simple as you only need to log into your HPanel account, go to your WordPress overview page and scroll down to the core section. Find the maintenance mode option and click the toggle to either activate or deactivate it. See? That's how easy it is to put your site in maintenance mode via HPanel. However, your viewers will only see the default message telling them your site is under maintenance. It's simple, but there are ways to make this a bit less boring. If you wish to have a customized page instead, downloading a WordPress plugin is the way to go. As I mentioned already, another easy way to put your site into maintenance mode is by using a plugin, specifically a WordPress plugin. There are a lot of options available for this, but today I'll use Seedprod as our example. It's essentially a landing page builder plugin that lets you create all sorts of types of pages. And yes, that includes coming soon and maintenance modes. So first, you'll need to activate the plugin from your WordPress admin dashboard. Simply search for Seed Prod in the plugin section, click install and then activate. If you wish to finish the initial setup wizard, you can continue doing so and follow the instructions from there, but this time I'll simply choose to skip it. Go straight to the newly found Seed Prod menu from your dashboard and you'll immediately see several options to choose from of pages to set up, much like shown here. Click the Setup a Maintenance Mode page to select a template from the library. Pick one that you like and you will be redirected to the drag and drop site editor where you can tweak your page elements however you wish. Once you're done, hit Save. Go back to the Plugins dashboard and activate Maintenance Mode by clicking this toggle button. That should be it. Your visitors will be shown the Maintenance Mode landing page once they try accessing the page. However, let's say you don't want any more plugins. If that's the case, you can activate maintenance mode by editing your site's function.php file. Before we begin, I also strongly recommend backing up your WordPress site before proceeding with this step. This way, you will have a copy of your site to restore in case something unexpected happens. 
To perform this step, you need to access your site's file manager, then navigate to WP Content File, choose Teams, and open your site's Active Team directory. Find the functions.php file, then copy and paste the following code at the end of these lines. I'll put this code block in the description below for you to simply copy and paste it. This code block will activate the default maintenance screen for WordPress. However, you can tweak the HTML message that will appear on the screen. Find the following HTML code next to WP underscore die function and tweak the text to any type of message you want. Also, if you're using Mac OS, the code might be pasted as curly single quotes. If that's the case, double check the code and ensure you're using straight single quotes instead. Save your change once you're done. Oh, and don't forget to remove the code block once you want your site to go back live again. Okay, I have one more method to show you. Other than tweaking the functions.php file, you can also put your site in maintenance mode by editing the .ht access file. As always, I recommend backing up your site without making any changes to the core WordPress files, including the .ht access file. Note that you won't be able to access the WordPress admin dashboard if you're choosing this method. This is because all requests will be redirected to the maintenance.html file. That said, I recommend going with this method only if you already have considerable WordPress knowledge under your belt. Moving on, the process is pretty much similar to adding the custom functions code. You just need to access the file manager, but this time locate the .ht access file in your site's directory. Copy the whole content of the file, then create a new file and name it .ht access underscore default. Then paste the previous file's content into the new file and hit save. This file will act as a backup of your .ht access file, just to be safe. Now you need to create an HTML file within the same directory, which will act as your maintenance page interface. In case you have the file ready, you can upload it instead of creating a new one. If not, let's name the file maintenance to make the whole process a bit more clear. Here you can write some HTML code to design your page as you see fit. I'll be using a simple example here just to show you what goes where. Once you're done, click save and close the file. Now we are going to edit the original .ht access file. Simply right click on it and hit edit. Copy the following code from the description below and paste it before hash and WordPress. Just don't forget to change the example.com line with your site's URL. Save your file and you're done. Your visitors should now be redirected to the maintenance HTML page. Start working on your site updates, take your time, and once you're ready, don't forget to delete the code you've added once the site is ready to be back online. In case something unexpected happens, you can always revert to the original .ht access file since we created the backup, remember? Wasn't it simple to put your site in maintenance mode? You don't have to worry about people seeing your uncompleted work while it's under a major update anymore. Which method shown do you plan to implement? Let me know by leaving a comment below. Give this video some love and share it if you found it helpful. Hit the subscribe button to see more future WordPress tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and good luck on your online journey.